Cell cycle and cell division is one of the important chapter in first PUC biology. This video is a quick revision notes which is very helpful for the exams. So cell cycle definition they may ask and cell cycle is a cyclic or sequential events where a parent cell divides to give two daughter cells. Human cells takes 24 hours to divide whereas yeast cell takes 90 minutes to divide. In cell cycle there are two phases interface and M phase. Interface is between two successive mitotic phase or M phase and it lasts for about 95% of the cell cycle. It is also called as resting phase. Then in M phase the actual cell division starts. Now, a 1 1 mark 2 definitions are there. Nuclear division is called as karyokinesis, and cytoplasm division is called as cytokinesis. In interphase, there are three sub phases G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. In G1 phase, DNA replication initiation takes place, and in this phase, cell actively grows and uh, ready to divide the nucleus so in second subphase of interface s phase is called as synthesis phase here replication of dna or synthesis of dna takes place or we can say the amount of dna gets double double in the cell and in g2 phase there is a synthesis of protein which is very important for mitosis that is going to synthesize in a g2 phase one mark very important is quiescent stage or g0 stage in animals, adult animals, some cells do not divide. So they exist G1 phase and enters to an inactive stage called quiescent stage of cell cycle. Now mitosis is an equational division where the number of chromosomes remain same in the parent cell and also in the daughter cells. First phase of mitosis is prophase. The characteristics of prophase are very important for two marks. Here chromosomes are going to condense. Centriole moves to the opposite poles of the cell and endoplasmic reticulum, nuclear membrane, Golgi complex, nuclear membrane, nucleolus, they start disappearing. One more phase, second phase is metaphase. It is also two marks very important topic to the exam. So in metaphase, uh, chromosomal material become compact and distinct and made into two sister chromatids and the sister chromatids attached with spindle fibers with kinetochore. So kinetochore is help the sister chromatids to attach themselves to the spindle fiber. And in metaphase one of the most important characteristic is all the chromosomes are arranged in the centers, center of the cell which is called as metaphase plate. Third phase is anaphase, important for two marks. Here we can find a splitting of chromosomes at centromere into two sister chromatids. And those sister chromatids, they start moving to the opposite pole. That is the characteristics of anaphase. Then the last phase is telophase. It is also important for two marks. In telophase, chromosomes reach the opposite poles of the cell and they form a discrete unit and nuclear membrane and nucleolus Golgi complex start reappearing in this telophase. Significance of mitosis is very important for two marks. It produces diploid daughter cells with identical chromosome number. It helps in repair of the cell and it helps in growth of the cell, growth and development. Meiosis is the reductional division where the chromosome number is reduced to half and this is going to happen in reproductive cells. So in uh, meiosis 1, prophase 1 has 5 stages, leptotin, zygotin, paketin, diplotin and diakinesis. Each phase has some characteristic features. Like in leptotin, chromosome becomes distinct and visible under a microscope. In zygotin, chromosomes start pairing together which is called as synapsis. So, definition of synapsis is very important for one mark. Pairing of chromosome is called as synapsis. Then, 
डेफिनेशन ऑफ होमोलागस क्रोमोजोम आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द पेयर क्रोमोजोम्स आर कॉल्ड एज होमोलागस क्रोमोजोम्स एंड इन लेप्टोटिन वी कैन फाइंड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टेट्राड बाइवेलेंट आर टेट्राड ड्यूरिंग पैकेट इन स्टेज क्रॉसिंग ओवर अकर्स क्रॉसिंग ओवर वी कैन फाइंड ड्यूरिंग पैकेट इन बिटवीन टू इन टू नॉन सिस्टर प्रोमेटिट्स क्रॉसिंग ओवर टेक्स प्लेस विच हेल्प्स इन द एक्सचेंज ऑफ जेनेटिक मटीरियल एंड फॉर क्रॉसिंग ओवर देर इज वन इंपॉर्टेंट एंजाइम दट प्लेस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल दट इज कॉल्ड एज रिकॉम्बिनेस इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर वन मार्क रिकॉम्बिनेस एंजाइम इज हेल्पफुल इन द क्रॉसिंग ओवर ऑफ नॉन सिस्टर प्रोमेटिट्स इन डिप्लोटिन There is a formation of X-shaped chiasmata. That is the characteristics of diplotin, very important to the one mark. And the characteristics of diakinesis is that there is a terminalization of chiasmata. The X X-like chiasmata, which helps us for uh, exchange of genetic material, that is going to end terminalization of chiasmata. Then significance of meiosis is very important for two marks. It is very essential for sexual reproduction. so new recombination is going to occur because of crossing over it maintains chromosome number in sexually reproducing organism and it is provide the basic evidence of basic relationship of an organism then finally for five marks difference between mitosis and meiosis is highly important mitosis takes place in body cells also called as somatic cells meiosis in reproductive cells mitosis produce two daughter cells meiosis produce four haploid cells and here the two cells are diploid then haploid and diploid both kind of cells undergo mitosis whereas only diploid cells can undergo meiosis and in mitosis no crossing over whereas in meiosis there is a crossing over in mitosis crossing pairing of homologous chromosome do not occur whereas in meiosis pairing of homologous homologous chromosome occurs so these are some of the important topics from this chapter thank you